Another thing I want to talk a little bit about is getting used to reading dense text on a screen. Because right now, you're probably used to reading nothing more complicated than listicles and short online articles. So I want to show you a, a site that I really love called phrasereader.com. On this website, you can basically copy paste any text that you want, put it into this site, and they will let you play around with different reading speeds. So here I'm taking a random article from The Economist because everybody loves to read The Economist for LSAT prep as a way to get familiar with something a little bit more complicated than the average clickbait. You take this, you copy paste it, you put it into phrasereader.com and you click parse. And then you can set different reading speeds to help yourself get faster at reading at whatever speed you like. Because right now we're used to maybe reading at 200 words per minute, which is really quite slow actually. But on the LSAT, you're better off reading closer to 350 or 400 words if you want to read the average reading comprehension passage in two to three minutes or so. So that's one thing you could do. I, mean, I chose this article from The Economist at random. You could really choose anything else at all that you like. What's important is that it's on maybe an eighth grade reading level. So if you, go, if you look at like the flesh Kincaid scale for reading comprehension, It'll show you that the New York Times, for example, is on an eighth grade reading level, level versus an article in the New York Post or the Daily News, which is more likely to be on, for example, a third grade reading level or a fifth grade reading level. And so reading things with more advanced vocabulary is extremely important just to get used to what you'll be dealing with on LSAT test day.